Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Zips, and welcome back to Mixed Modded Wild Frost. Here we go. See, it's interesting because apparently, like, recently there was, like, a mod made, a mod pack made by, uh, the same person, the, made by Mega Marine, same person as the, as the sleep, the same person who made Sleet Storm, and yeah, I... It's basically like the same idea as what I do in this series, where it's just like it's just a whole collection of mods, and it's it's pretty neat. Anyway, so last time we played Snow Dwellers, and today we are. I don't think we're playing any of these Shade Masters leaders. This leader has a lot of HP, but Mary here has is pretty damn solid looking especially with that nice three turn counter so i think we will be clicking this all right today's leader name comes from many plural and that they, they and they asked me to they, they asked me to name this leader apes but i there's some discussion in the in like in the comments and i'm gonna go with the name Ap apis apis i don't know how it's pronounced I didn't really check, but apparently it's it's Latin for B. Plus, it works since it's a plant based. Now, I did say. Now, I did. It is a thing where he, they asked me to specifically do this for PVZ mod. I, you know what? I might actually wait to do this for the PVZ mod, and I'll when we do PVZ again, and I'll name this leader. Oh. Uh, I I did a H leader last time, so we can do Nil Nilbert Weed Weedman. Nilbert Weedman. And for today's leader, I think I wanna play Zoomy. Let's do this. Nilbert Weedman. It sounds like a name of like your your college professor college professor anyway zoom me here add zoom link to the rightmost card in your hand the only thing we gotta look out for is that there is a decent chance that i think there i think there is a fair chance that zoomy might accidentally just hit like a a um a junk card which would be a little bit sad but you know what uh i will call only enemies here Oh yeah, we token mod. We gotta kill you. Get over here. Go over here, you gobbling. We got token. I reinstalled the token mod today. The deal was that we were gonna do the token mod every every once in a while, and you know what? It's been a once in a while since we did the last one, so I think right now is. Uh, you know what? I can. I can get the multi kill here, and then still freeze the gobbling remember we got if you don't know the token mod basically adds like a new form of like of like buffing your cards that you get from that you get from killing goblins so hopefully i draw into a gear hammer this turn it'd be really really unfortunate if i did not we thankfully did i think it is pretty much lights out for this gobbling unfortunately i don't it would, uh, maybe I actually have something I can do. No, I think I can actually save this goblin. I will have to freeze my leader, though. Hopefully I don't, like, kill myself. No, I won't die here. Alright, if I freeze my leader... Is it, I think what I'm doing, honestly, isn't too unreasonable. Because it's not like I'm giving up, but yeah. It's actually a fairly easy... Naked gnome to save. I don't think I was it, it was no night. You're already weren't making that much money And you know what 66 is pretty average for this fight. Thank you for sparing me. Let me come with you. Sure, buddy Very happy with this bottom half just like a nice little mon bit of money and although 47 on that roll is pretty unfortunate When deployed gain one block reduce HP to one damn <laughs> That's pretty unfortunate. That's just, ah, Goji Burr. What are they doing to you, man? Apply one 
zap, double all zap iterator. I guess we're just playing Starlight today. Goji bird, what do they do to you? Oh yeah, we got a, we got the token here. Equip berry. Oh yeah, this gives long shot to one of your guys. Honestly, I don't think that does too much for us right now. So let's just pick up Starlight. And I'm going to hold on to that. I want to see if we can find a cooler token to use. Let's get down a little bit of a zoomy. A yumi zoomy. A zoomy umi yumi. Or what, what's the... Is that like a show? It was like... Umi? I don't know. It, it, there's like some show. It, there's like a sh there's like a show out there with like a name kind of similar to this. I'm gonna play a gear hammer this turn. Then we're gonna go like do like gear hammer Snowzuka this porcupine I think. Oh fuck! But I I gotta kill the goblin. Oh no! I might I might have fucked up. I might not actually be okay. I can flask of ink the goblin. Although I do have to make sure I'm not like dying here. Which, uh, is. I will Flask of Ink the Goblin, though. I think it's fine. And this Earth Berry here is only dealing 3 damage. Starlight's got fucking 14 HP. We're fine. Yeah, this gives me time to kill the Goblin. This interrupts its first round, uh, this, its first running away action. So I will. This gives me, like, a turn to play. This gives me a... Oh, wait, um... You can play this on, like, Gear Hammer. Or I could... No, I want to play this on Gear Hammer. We gotta make sure we're killing these goblins. Unfortunately, I'm not getting any money from hitting this goblin. We're just stopping it from running away. Classic conundrum of... Ink does not actually help me catch this goblin. One of ma mankind's greatest, great, greatest tragedies. Alright, it's three damage here, and got naked gnome plus goblin does get, get you the kill. And I think overall hitting this porcupine with the, um, uh, flask of ink. Oh, flask of, you get a free turn of flask of ink here. Unfortunately, I'm not actually killing anything here. This is three damage, so I should just kill the porcupine next turn. It's a pretty smooth early game. We're very blessed to have a to have a very good, to have a really strong leader in good old Nilbert Weedman. York, what what do you think Nilbert? If we're going like down the line that Nilbert Weedman is like a college professor, what do you think he majors in? I'm gonna guess urology. This is my guess. Oh man, I'm I'm not all of a sudden I I'm feeling really ready for some mixed modded wild frost. I I think it's either the I, mixed modded wild frost is de is definitely I think my favorite thing to record like nowadays. It one of the coolest things about doing series like this is I love like I really enjoy like the free. I, re I really enjoy giving, like, attention to, like, the, the smaller mods and, like, also, like, the mod creators reaching out and thanking me for checking out their its mod. It, it, their mods. It, it just, it feels good. It feels good to, like, it, it's my token back to this community. And also, it's kind of, it, I, I, this feels like, in the name of the mod I was mentioning earlier is Vanilla Plus, and this is honestly, I that's a very apt description. Ooh, what's this? Quit dismantle quick kit. Free action. Replace the right two, rightmost card. Replace the rightmost cards in hand with two junk. I don't think that's very good. So let's see here. We got pinks, pink slingshot, mimic, and wild tusks. I don't really know the use of this yeah this seems like impossible to get off in the final fight this does this doesn't seem like reliable to get now i don't think that's all that good i have we've seen i think i kind of just want to click mimic today 
I think I will. So I can get a second Snowzooka here, which I'm a pretty decent fan of. Pretty into that. <laughs> and this also this pass also comes with money, which is really good. Two fro two snow sticks is like a dramatic boost to your out your snow output as a whole. Restore four HP, apply one block to snow. Restore four H increase HP by four, restore HP by four, cleanse, consume. In pink berry cake. In pink berry shortcake. I don't think I'm gonna click it. Arrow charm. Gain long shot and plus one. Um I'm very happy I picked up. We're probably gonna be playing, you know. I could put this barrier charm on Naked Gnome and we could literally just make Blunky. <laughs> Does that sound fun to you? Um Honestly, I'm kind of down to just roll another charm here. Money goes a little bit low. I think I'll be fine. I'm gonna roll another charm here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling lucky. Speed. Cards with speed always attack before others. That sounds fucking... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Will this also work? Like, I'll attack before the enemies? Because in that case, this ain't too bad. Okay. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to crown this Mimic. I don't know how I actually feel about giving long shot to my Mimic. I don't know if I actually like doing that. Do I, do I need to equip one of these charms right now? I mean, I feel like I probably should. I think I'll put long shot on maybe my naked numb. Although it's also not... I'll put it on Nilbert. And I'll put, like, the bow charm. We'll put the bow charm on Mimic. Now we got, like, two sources of... Of long shot. These fucking mini mocos are gonna rule the day they mess with us. That porcupine, that porcupine has teeth charm. That porcupine is taking its damn name to heart. And I'm fucking scared. And now I don't have a way of targeting this mini moko. Oh man. It's, it's over. I mean, I kind of just have to let this mini, I kind of just have to let this mini moko hit me. Like, what would I do? What would a man like me do here? Okay, thankfully we are getting the kill on the mini Moko. My leader takes three here, which is okay. Very happy to get off two gear hammers here on the... Alright, this Zumi unit? Liking them a lot. Big fan of Zumi here. I do have a lot of junk in my hand. But, we are doing a little bit of long shotting. And I will turn, I'll turn long shot on Mimic this turn because it mean, means I can get the kill on, actually I can like spend this turn. I'm going to just apply a ton of snow to this mini Moko. Zumi will give me a long shot on, or Zumi will put Zoomlin on this so I can kill the Porcupine this turn. And then have this left over and, although do I need to be going for combo kills here? And I'll probably be fine. As long as I'm killing everything, it will hopefully be alright. Now, I am getting kind of wrecked by Infernoko, who I have neglected up to this point. Honestly, I'm not against just sending the Naked Gnome away. Yeah, I don't think I really need the Naked Gnome to win the rest of this fight. I'll let Zumi take this hit. As long as you get past this attack here, I think you're going to be fine for this fight. I don't really want more junk in my hand, so we'll do something like this. Goodbye, both my friends. It's a, it's a little bit scary, but overall, I think we should manage. Although, I don't have... I need a gear... I'm, gear ha I'm gonna gear hammer 
this Frostinger down here. Nilbert Weedman gets the kill. Then I can gear hammer this one here. Although then I'm kind of leaving myself open to Infernoco here. Although th it's, this is a good double kill, so I think it's fine. As long as we can kill Infernoco here, we'll win the fight. And I, oh, uh, I don't have junk. Okay, I just need to play like one Snowzuka on, on this guy, and then I should be okay. I do. It's it's definitely scary here. Thankfully, Starlight does have a lot of health, so it can take the mini mocos. But definitely a scary situation. I need to like go. I need to go for some damage here, though. Uh, I guess I'll thank you. It means you gain a little bit less attack. And we need to kill Infernoco this turn. I cannot waste. I cannot spend another turn with this Infernoco. Infernoco on the field. I cannot let Infernoco get off another attack, or else it's just all over. It's it's just all over. At that point. We killed the Minimoko here, and I should have enough damage on my gear hammers and the rest of my kit. Ah, shit, I'm not getting the kill here. Okay. I'll kill you th this turn then. And now we just- now it's just a game of last- of surviving until Infernoko dies. Hopefully my Mimic is able to manage this. Ow. We do get some very nice damage here. You get that attack off. Unfortunately, Zumi, it, it is what I feared earlier that Zumi is just gonna hit a a kind of a useless junk. Do I have lethal here? If I go for Sunsung Box. I am one off. But it's fine. I just, I just recall Zumi. Oh, I have to recall Starlight too. Okay. Starlight's frontline. You just let Mimic get hit here. So, it, we, that fight definitely was not as smooth as I was. Also, I'm not getting to walk out of this fight with enough money. I have made a grave error. Uh, there's a chance I can walk out with enough. I have enough money here. Ah, see, I, see, so, you know, I gotta be honest. I was, like, specifically holding out to... I was specifically holding out for Gnome Charm, and I was thinking of giving Long Shot to, to Mimic here, but I was holding out so we could maybe see something like Gnome Charm. I'm definitely going to click Gnome Charm in this run. Gnome Charm, very strong. So we definitely got a recipe for success here. With out a uh, Gear Hammer. Oh yeah, I need to remember to check like what happened with the with the bells and why we don't have gunk why we don't have gunk bell anymore because something gunk bell is just like missing for some reason and i don't really know why spark charm we could definitely find a use for that i think am thankfully able to buy a crown here increase by z apply two spark increase by zero when played no, I don't think I will. No. No, I do not think I will. Something kind of interesting here is that you can, like, use... You can use token here to override the aimless. Which might... Could come into play, I think. So, I'm curious. What does this speed charm actually do? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Let's find out together. Should I? I, I might want to keep these crowns. These two cursed crowns. Uh, I'll probably be end up putting a crown on Starlight for this run. I just think Starlight is like a super fucking good unit. Just that much HP. And a relatively... Is my recording lagging? No, it looks fine. So, what is this? How does this speed work? We can check here. I'm... So, if I put you in the back, 
Says you're attacking six. I I'm not sure. Uh, I'll be fine hitting the Pepper Witch here. This Grumps is gonna be real fucking annoying. Uh, am I- hopefully- am I gonna be in a situation here where my Mimic is gonna get hit? By the Grumps? Nah, I won't be- I won't be killing that. I won't be killing that fast, right? Let me see here. I can just give you Long Shot, which uh, definitely there is gonna be some cases where that is gonna be more useful. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's just go for a freeze play. Nil- Okay, Nilbert Weedman is attacking before the enemies. That is very interesting. Question is, how are we gonna get use out of that? We gotta run- We got the whole run ahead of us to figure that- To, to try answering that question. Oh my god, this fucking Makoko here? Jesus. Oh, it is just only plus two attack. It's fine. So I will be doing... I will be hitting you with the longbow again, Mimic, to make sure we're killing this Makoko here. And then I'm going to... Oh, wait, but there's another... <sighs> no, I should snow Zuko the... I should snow Zuko this Makoko. Let's be real here. Oh, yeah, with Nilbert Weedman attacking first, it means Mimic also is going to attack first, which is so, that is so interesting. I should definitely get Naked Gnome down for this fight. I think it's gonna, I think it will be important. Hmm. Oh, my God. The Goblin actually does not get to run away here. Thanks to Nilbert Weedman, Weedman Speed Charm. Nilbert Weedman will just kill the Goblin before. Before it runs away. That's so cool. Alright, yeah, the Speed Charm, not looking too bad. I gotta be real. Let me be clear. Okay. This turn, I'm going to ink... So yeah, Nilbert Weedman, fucking show him. I'm gonna ink Grumps here. This triggers Mimic. That guy did a very strange looking backflip. Did Mimic attack the correct amount of times there? I'm not sure. Okay, now I need to make sure I don't die here. I could maybe just like rush for the kill on King Moko. It's definitely scary though. Starlight is quite demonized. I'm gonna play this here. Then I'm gonna redraw. I can definitely just kill the enemies if I want to. And uh, I just, I have lots of, I do have a good amount of snow cards in this build, so hopefully I'll be okay. I mean, I can just let my leader take four, and I might just want to to save these snow cards. And I can reduce the damage I take by one, at least. I'm gonna give long, I'm gonna give long shot to you, Mimic. So we get the gear hammer kill here. We kill the Makoko. Nilbert Weedman takes three. Undeniable fact. And thanks to the long shot charm, we are guaranteed to get the kill there. And it's pretty damn good. And you know what? Fucking long shot me again. God, this long shot this long shot charm is so this long shot charm token is so nice for mimic. It gives it gives us so much flexibility. Okay, right, now I should... I really should try... I really should try killing Grumps in this fight, though. I really should try. It's a good amount of extra money. And I likely should be able to. Like, with this... With Mimic on the board... Yeah, no, we, we've win here. I'm sure of it. 
Uh, and another Snowzooka in the hand. No way King Moko catches me here. It's so over for him. Make sure I am recording. I am, I am, I am. Backflip. Let me make do a little backflip. And then he did a little backflip. Definitely down for this bottom path here. Poison shooter. Light two poison when drawn. Game one frenzy. Yeah. Especially what's consumed. That's pretty damn bad. I think I could click on... Ooh, what's this? Equip trusty sword. Free action. Deal two damage to the front enemy. Uses two per battle. Okay. <laughs> I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Happy to take Bling Bank here. It's a good amount of extra money. And I do like money, so I think it's going to be fine. Definitely want to take this charm, I think. Lots of good shit you could see here. Durian charm... Is that one of them? It's really good on Naked Gnome. It's like really good on Naked Gnome, in fact. Definitely could do that. And then Naked Gnome combos super well with Mimic. I th I think that I think that that is the angle. I think this is the route we want to take. Unfortunately, this like we are immediately not doing too much like crazy modded stuff. I the the main like difference in this like compared to a normal run, I guess, is like Starlight and all these tokens we have equipped. Which, you know, maybe is that. Maybe that's good enough. I think I will just equip. I will just equip Spark Charm on Nilbert Weedman. It's an extra attack out of Mimic. Really want to find a way of boosting this Mimic's attack. And no, don't say that. Don't you say that I had the option to boost that Mimic's attack by via the Darien Charm. We got a new unit here in Ingot. When hit... When hit with junk, apply one scrap to a random ally. Interesting. And we got Amis. I like at am Amis, Amis, Amus. <laughs> I don't... Uh, actually... You know, maybe I could click Ingot. You know what? Fuck it. I want to click this unit. Uh, why does this unit have to have one... <laughs> why does this unit have to have one, like, bomb? I think that is really unnecessary. I'm still going to click it because it seems cool. And we'll take off Zoomy on the squad. I get to give Scrap to my... I get to give Scrap to my, um... Can I give you long shot while in the hand? I can. That's really good. So I can put Mimic on the board. Then you get down Nilbert Weedman. Get down a good amount of damage there. I'm down to just deal two to you, two to the, can I just, like, I can just use both of those immediately, which is pretty fun. I think I will get down my bling, but yeah, okay. We will get down bling bank here, and then I'm going to ink the octaco here. The ink in this fight will actually be a bit nice, because it means octaco, or it means, no, it means I won't. It means Starlight will not be demonizing herself. So she'll be a little bit better at tanking. Well, more like a lot better at tanking, actually. Alright, Nilbert Weedman does take two damage. Although, unfortunately, my Mimic is out of commission for a little bit, which is quite sad. But we are back in commission now. I could try to kill this Goblin, but the Kraken is a threat on the board. And I... Don't actually have a... Okay. Getting this on the board is really good. I could get really messed up here by the Octobomb. Like, really, really messed up. Yeah, the Octo... Ugh. Wow, this is a really bad... Okay, Nilber Weedman can just be in this lane and not hit the Uba Bear. I might 
Although I might actually want to hit the Octobomb here. Like, now. I think I should- I think I actually should just rip, rip off this Band-Aid now. Because I, I also just need this. Although, I-, I you like Naked Numb attack first. Gives you more potential damage with the Mimic. Okay, I, cause- although if I do it like this- uh, Okay, no, this is fine. Yeah, okay, let's do this. I think this is correct. Alright, Nilbert Weedman will just- I did forget Nilbert Weedman was attacking first. I do gotta- Let me be clear. I did forget that. Oh, so I do get the like, move Starlight around just a whole bunch. Starlight is not- Okay, unfortunately this ingot unit here is not really doing much. But what is doing much is our Naked Gnome. Our Naked Gnome is putting up really strong damage. And generally with... Okay, I, I really wish Lumako was spawning in the bottom lane. In the top lane, this Kraken becomes a good bit harder to kill. Honestly, maybe I should recall Starlight here to... I think I actually will recall Starlight here to put Ingot on the field. Okay, Mimic, I really need you to unthaw. So I can guarantee... If I redraw here into a Sunsong box, click this charm here. I, if I do it like this, I think I'm going to need to like redraw for Flask of Ink. Do I? I am guaranteed... Okay. The play here is, you play Silence on Box on Naked Gnome. This, wait, I, I might be stupid. I think I'm stupid. <laughs> Fuck, man, the ink is so bad in this fu- The- God damn, these- Ugh, God, no matter where I go, my Mimic is just getting, like, kind of, like, countered. I think I did this- I think I definitely did this incorrectly. Now the Kraken is gonna hit me. I need to redraw this turn too. Like I real, I need to redraw for Flask of Ink. I think I definitely played this wrong. Now could I die from this? I don't know. It's not impossible. That's not. That's like not impossible. I, ah, uh, shit. I lose ingot here. I need to flask of ink kraken or else I just lose. Really hope we can, really hope we can actually win this one. We're killing Octaco, th thankfully. That's one threat in this fight taken care of. I need to redraw to get Starlight out here. There's Starlight. Uh. Fucking Mordecai. What's the. What if the airplanes were shooting stars? I, I don't know. I don't know how that, like, fucking. What, what am I thinking of? The, um. You know, the, uh. The, um. The, uh. The... Can I actually die here to the Kraken? I could. I need a Snowzooka the Kraken this turn. God, I'm, like, not actually sure I'm gonna have enough damage to win this fight. I can let Nilbert Weedman take this hit. Then I can, like, recall... Okay, I can kill Kraken this turn. I should let Mimic die, I think. And I will. Okay. Uh, def this, def this definitely was our our worst matchup, I think. Like that, we're all about like these low HP guys with who are very reliant on their effects, and the ink and the barraging units in this fight really kind of just counter us. It's rough. It, it's Billy Goat rough. Unfortunately, I get fucking. Uh, actually, this turn, I should ink the tentacle so my- so Nilbert Weedman doesn't lose its effect. Okay, I should be able to win from here, though. Here, I should definitely have the dub. Huh! 
Naked Gnome attacked before Nilbert Weedman there. You saw that? Even though that that I that's weird. That's strange. Nilbert Weedman definitely should attack there. At least like the at least that's like how I view it. Maybe I'm just like crazy though. Been something I'm known. Being crazy is something I'm kind of known for. Sorry, Ingot. Money or a charm? Okay, with me playing this naked gnome in this build, I probably should put this barrier charm on. Eh, I don't know. I'm gonna take this top half with the money and an item, and then I'll decide what I do from there. I really need something that boosts attack. While active, adds plus two to all pearl cards. See, that's like, n that doesn't really, scavenger toll. Blaze Bomb is potentially really strong here, and I do have a Curse Crown that I can give to it. Putting that on Naked Gnome seems really good. I think, I definitely think so. Maybe I need this Clockwork Bomb. Maybe. I can roll a Charm here, and then I'll consider if I need to click Clockwork Bomb here. Bomb school charm. Okay. I think my plan... I think I really should click this clockwork bomb. I think my plan here should be, like, lumen vasing. Oh, wait. Oh, I need this crown on naked gnome. Damn it. Okay. Should I put barrier charm on naked gnome? I... Definitely probably should. It's gonna make this next fight a lot easier. Look, it's Blunky. <laughs> it's it, guys, it's Blunky. What is the fuck is going on outside? I just hear people like wailing out there. People like making weird sounds at at They are just kinda like they are just like being loud out outside my apartment. They are they are yuck, they are yucking it up out there. Do I click the clockwork bomb? I think I will. You're welcome, by the way, Miss Shopkeep. Miss Shopkeep. I feel like I haven't acknowledged the existence of the shopkeeper in like a while. Even after, like, uh. Alright, hit the grank, please. Thank you. Blaze Bomb. Starlight. You know, <laughs> grank. <laughs> Uh, I should play Bling Bank first, though. Don't miss out on the on the change. Bling Bank or uh, Grink, get fucking get fucking Scrappy Sword, get fucking Scrappy Tokened. That's pretty nice. Uh, wait, aren't I just like face shifting? Kind of like face shifting. Um, this is I should do this. This because it's the kill on the Spuncher. Although, won't it just be, like, face-shifting Krunker here, like, immediately? That's... That's probably not good. <laughs> like, in all intents and purposes, that's probably not good that we're face-shifting here. It's gonna make the rest of this... So, what I can do here is... Okay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look great. I do have the one scrap on Naked Gnome, and I can keep my Bling Bink alive if I want to. Uh, how do I how do I actually order this? Oh god, this uh I can do something like this. Okay, now this is what you do. Yeah, this is the better setup. Or er, well, act wait no, is it? <laughs> um, <laughs> I really wish Naked Gnome was attacking first here. I mean, I guess we're still getting use out of the um, out of out of the turn counter reduction. So how much damage am I dealing here to Krunker? Very happy I have this block charm, by the way. For coming in very clutch here. Oh, God. Oh, good. Oh, dear heavens. Oh, dear heavens. Oh, dear heavens. Uh, um. Uh oh. What do I do here? I feel like I kind of 
need to... Okay, I think the play here is that I definitely need to ink Krunker. I think I absolutely need to do this play. Unfortunately, my Nilbert Weedman is getting inked here. Or is getting granked here. I guess I can. It's honestly probably okay to Snowzooka here. And I think I will. Alright. I do lose my bling bank, unfortunately. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I can just kill. And honestly, I probably just should. <laughs> I probably should just try to walk out of this fight. How much damage is this? This is... 11... Trying to make sure I don't... If my Mimic dies, it's fine. If this gets my Mimic killed, it's okay. Gets my Mimic killed via the Spike Wall, it's fine. Yeah, I think my... There's a... My Mimic does die to the Spike Wall, but it doesn't really matter. Did not get a lot of money out of that fight. Had to, like, kind of just, like, make a break... Make a break for it. So, this... So you can do something like Critical Charm Blaze Bomb, which seems pretty damn strong, and I think I definitely will go for that. Another little frenzy here there, didn't hurt nobody. Then you can do like Sun Bell of Health. I like quite a bit. Yeah, I like Sun Bell of Health, because my leader is going to have to be sitting in the front in Frost Bomber lane. I'm down to Charm Merchant here. Ooh, new, new thing. Uh, minus two attack, gain restore one HP and cleanse allies in row. <laughs> the fuck? What the hell? <laughs> no, that sounds, that sounds kind of terrible. At least for us, what we're doing right now. Maybe you could make a build like that. Also, constantly cleansing is kind of interesting. None of these are good, though. So we, we should, thankfully, we are fighting, we are against this fight, and our units are very quick. Ah, shit, I fucked up there. Lost the value of... And yet, okay, I just redo the whole setup. I didn't get critical either. <laughs> redo! Do it, do over, do over, do over, do over, time out. Let me, I, I gotta, gotta, gotta look at my notes. Alright, you play Mimic first, I can play Naked Gnome. Starlight, Nilbert, Nil. No, you could have also called this like guy Nilbert Gottfried or something like that, which also would have been a, I think, a pretty fine name. So we're gonna be a lot. God, I really wish I just had a way of buffing this mimic. Of a single molten dip would go so well in this run. All right, here we we're gonna be very ahead in this fight. So I'm going to be redrawing for my Blink Bank and probably Looming Basing it. I think this is Backflip, by the way. Also, wait, are you, you, are you ready to see the amount of backflips that are about to happen here? It's going to be crazy. Check this out. One backflip, two, three. Oh, wait, that doesn't trigger Mimic. Ah, uh, I was, never mind. Ah, fuck, the Burster has smell. Ah, okay. I should just let this crawler hit Nil Nilbert Weedman, and I should just know the burster. I think this is a for sure kind of play. Yeah, I am going to do this. Although, uh, God, the crawler is going to be applying so much block. Thankfully, it... Oh, man, I need to kill the goblin. <laughs> I need to kill the fucking goblin, man. What the hell? I need the I need the damn it. Shit. Oh wait, okay, the goblin. Uh uh Starlight, fucking whack him. Fucking whack him, Starlight. Actually I could give this to Blaze Bomb and also make a lot of money. I'm down. I'm down to optimize all the money I can get out of this fight. Should be quite a bit. I will flask a big for crawler, so now not a million block is not being applied here. Let's see here. This is 
gonna be like a lot of money. Fucking sixty-eight dollars. That's a whole. That's a whole ass. I should recall Starlight here. Ah, fuck my Starlight. Okay, it's fine. I just put Starlight in the other lane. Uh. Okay, so I was I was just curious if you click if you click Starlight if you click that token while Starlight there's no other unit in that lane Starlight will just do nothing, or the the I guess more accurately the token will do nothing. All right, please we do need to kill this crab. All right, don't don't get it twi twisted. We need to get this crab needs to die, and I should we do just have lethal here. I'm very sure of it. Excellent work, team. And we we got so much money out of it. That fight, and we get to spend it at the shop. It's so... It's lovely, man. It's so nice out here. That was definitely... we. It was definitely correct to recognize. Increase HP attack by 4, half the target's HP. I gotta ask if I put this on. Apply one slimy stick. Apply one. Apply one poison. Target retains poison. Yeah. I'm down to click this battle potion. They did definitely like rework this card a lot. This. Ooh. Move from anywhere. To the top of the draw pile. I think I'll put this on like the clockwork bomb. I'm gonna roll charms here first. Roll all my possible charms. Strawberry charms, not bad. It is also like not bad. And I just like a lot of it like not bad options. Hog-headed. I mean, that's definitely good on... That's definitely good on you. Okay, wow, we got three HP boosting. All the three charms we got boost HP and not damage. Pretty fucked up, isn't it? Sure is. You know, in that last fight, I probably could have avoided hitting that crawler a bunch of times if I were to use, like, the... If I used the longbow token. I kind of forgot I had this. There's no reason not to put this on you, Naked Gnome. And yeah, that's probably it gonna That's probably gonna be it. Oh, I have no I actually have no cards in this deck that consume. I mean I can pick up the battle potion and now we do have a card that consumes. This definitely is gonna be it. Now what do I put this on actually? Do I put this? What am I crowning here? Am I crown? Honestly, I'm probably. What I'm doing here probably is I'm taking the. Oh, I can take tokens off of you. Interesting. I didn't actually know I could remove tokens. Huh. I'm probably actually taking the token off Mega Mimic. Uh, the un unfortunate thing is that I'm losing like the little combo of Spark plus Mimic at the start, but it's not really that strong. Our win con our win condition in this run is this naked gnome. And that's the damn truth. Ain't no other way you can look at it. That's the damn truth. And we're able to jack this naked gnome up like a lot. Those look like a lot of HP to work with in this combat. This run, while not having like too much like modded shenanigans in it has been very successful so get your attack up to 10 not too bad i think yeah now you're just a four time now you're just like now this naked gnome just kind of like crazy with it all right i need to get i need to find my mimic oh and i can play the blaze bomb again Thanks to Naked Gnome being Blunky in disguise. B put it on. Naked Gnome put on the Blunky coat. Naked Gnome is no longer naked. Is no longer naked. Naked Gnome. F naked Gnome finally found some clothes. I'm so proud of our boy. 
I will, uh, this turn maybe could get a bit awkward. I should be fine, though. I don't think I'd play... It's just kind of annoying because it's gonna take a while to kill this gobbler safely. I need to, like, wait. I'll be fine here as long as I just, like, don't do anything stupid. Starlight gets demonized for a bit. It's fine. I play Mimic here. Uh, no, but, uh. See, like, it is just, like, kind of annoying. Oh, wait, no, Nilbert Weedman kills the Grizzle. Nice. And then I will be putting Longshot on my Mimic here. To make sure I am killing the Gobbler. Then I can, like... Then I can do, like, this. And then... How many times is my Mimic going to attack here? How... Let, let, let's, let's get a look at this. <laughs> It is 12 times that my mimic uh, Mimic's attack for fucking 2 damage. Really sad I didn't get anything better to buff this... To buff this here Mimic. But I guess... I guess that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Is it? I want it like... I want it like kind of... Just remain... Yo! Fucking Starlight. Get him. Good job. Get him, Starlight. <laughs> I love this I love this token. I love the damage token. It's actually really nice. Uh okay, I definitely keep the This time I definitely keep the aimless because I want to be able to kill Rock Hog here. We're gonna apply six bomb here. Wait, what oh shit, my mimic has no attack. Oh fuck. Um, I could have just, like, fucked my- there's a chance I fucked myself over here. Hopefully not, though. I definitely- Um, I think I should definitely go for this on Ice Forge. Okay, hopefully this will- hopefully we'll be fine. We lose Junkhead here. We lose our... We lose Junkhead here. Starlight does not... Takes very minimal damage. So that's fine. I definitely... I'll Clockwork Bomb the... Ro like, maybe I do just kill. Let's turn. There is a chance I can just... I do just kill, though. Let's see. So, let the attacks go through. Boom. Yeah, I do just kind of kill them, don't I? I do just kind- My naked gnome does just kind of, like, murder everything. I forgot to take a screenshot there, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Definitely take this. I don't like any of the other of these. I- Whenever you have Strawberry Charm as one of your charms, I think, uh, Breakfast Sun- Breakfast Sun Bell is actively harmful, so I will not be clicking it. None of these charms, none of those bells do anything. All right, let's do this. Let's us face our destiny. Let the destiny be faced. So, you get down. Starlight in this lane. Nilbert Weedman. Play Naked Gnome. Lumen Vase here. I'll Battle Potion first. Blaze Bomb. We're dealing a good amount of damage to Razor here. I... Hmm... Definitely have to play this fight out a little bit. I can go for a critical play with... I can go for a critical play on the Frost Pressure here, and I like it quite a bit. I'm putting a lot of damage into Frost Jailer if I play Sun Song Box. I can just kind of rush him. Rush him like a Russian. 
I'll do this play to get a critical so we can Snowzooka critical so we can critical Snowzooka here. I think it's worth it. Yeah, let's go for this. Frost Junker. Let's oh I need to I'm going to take a just in case screenshot. I ideally wanna play another Wanna play another also I think I'll take a screenshot. I wanna take a screenshot of something else this run. Mimic really didn't do much this run. I should have taken a screenshot of my... Oh, I could still get a screenshot of my... Of the Blaze Bomb if I redraw it towards it. I'm definitely playing Sunsong Box here. For sure. You know what? Having Junkhead in the front here does prevent a lot of damage. The only, like, fear that can come from it is that if we don't kill quick enough... So we're killing Frost Jailer next, or if we don't, so we're killing Frost Jailer this turn. And next turn, uh, okay, so this turn what I should do, I don't really, I don't need to play a snow here. This turn what I should do is Clockwork Bomb. Definitely. I will Clockwork Bomb the Frost Lancer. Because then I play Mimic here, and then you go to and then you go to town, and you just kind of let it, you just kind of let it ride. No real reason not to. This should be a good amount of. I with that with that charm, I am just I I am just kind of winning this fight now. Um, I guess I let ooh. Starlight kind of getting messed up here. What do I do about this, actually? I can let I can let this attack go through. Hold up, I'm pretty sure there's like a way. I was like, see this like. Why do I feel like there's a way I can like get past like this? No, never mind. I was like trying to think this like there was a if I like have all these units up here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop wasting time. I was like because I remember seeing earlier like some way I was like getting Starlight to be in the back, get past like the front line keyword, but I I don't think it's possible. I think I'm losing Starlight here, and I don't think there's much I can do about it. Yeah. All right, it's fine. Starlight definitely. Starlight did her. Starlight did her duty here. Why don't we take a screenshot of Starlight? I, <laughs> for safekeeping, you know. For 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 research purposes, for for research reasons. I will just freeze this. Yeah, we'll we just freeze Frost Crusher here. Remember, we have block on Naked Gnome. Naked Gnome is actually Blunky. Do not forget. I will redraw here. And... Oh, but I can't play Blaze Bomb now. Fuck me. I'll take the screenshot here and we'll probably just put Blaze Bomb in the thumbnail. Aw, oh, man. Unfortunate. I mean, I, I can play it here, I guess. And it's fine. Doesn't really do that much because this Mimic isn't doing put too much damage. But these two are gonna be attacking for a while, so just you should just like kind of sit back, just kind of just sit back and relax and watch these two go to town. They might just kill here. And th okay, no, they're not killing here. They're killing here though. I think they. Okay, wait. Do they kill here? I'm not sure. But something's dying at least. God, look at this. Look at this mimic just like fucking poke at stuff. Oh, wait, is it lethal? Oh, I think it's lethal. Ah, shit, it is lethal. It was, in fact, lethal. It might have been exact lethal, too. Which would have been, which is kind of fun. I think it was exact lethal. That, that's pretty, that's awesome. Very lovely. Alright, that was a nice little, that was a nice little successful run. Immediately, again, immediately we didn't do too many, like, new, like, modded stuff in this 
one, but sometimes that's just gonna be how it is. And I think that run was definitely still fun either way. Anyway, that's gonna be this episode of Mixed Modded Wild for us. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and or subscribe. And all of you out there, have a nice day.